Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Bubblegum Reviews. My name is Steve and today I'm going to be reviewing The Last Boy Scout with Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans. So this movie is, uh, in my opinion, this movie is literally like John McClane's after he retires. This is like after Die Hard 4, I guess you could say, or Let's see. This would be after Die Hard 3. This would be like John McClane and his after years kind of thing. He retires. He becomes like a PI. And this this is the story for him right here. Obviously, that's not how it happens. But anyways, that's, that, this is kind of how I feel this movie is. Great movie. I like this movie a lot more than I know I probably should. But the casting is really good. Minus Holly Berry. I could not stand her in this movie. She did not belong in it. The music for this is great. The beginning scene for this movie is probably one of the craziest sports scenes for a movie I've ever seen. Like, what the hell? And I love uh, the beginning song with Bill Medley singing Friday Night. That That's a... That's a they need to use that for like Sunday night football. Just change it to Sunday night. That's pretty uh, pretty cool. So this is a Shane Black screenplay who he also did all of the Lethal Weapon movies. Huh, go figure. Uh, which I love those movies. Those movies are great. He also directed Iron Man 3, which I wouldn't mind giving that a watch again pretty soon. I remember enjoying that. Director Tony Scott, who also did Man on Fire, great movie. Enemy of the State, great movie. And Spy Game, another great movie. So I guess you get Tony Scott and Shane Black together and you're going to come up with a pretty pretty awesome movie. And I guess Tony Scott really didn't get along with John John Oliver. Yeah, I guess they didn't really. They were bumping heads for this movie. Uh IMDb gave it a 7 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 47%. And Dog Bones gave it a 2 out of 4. Personally, I think Dog Bones and Rotten Tomato don't know what the hell they're talking about. Because I give it an 8 out of 10. This movie was awesome. The, 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 like, dialogue that Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans come up with in this movie are just freaking hilarious like some of the lines that bruce willis has in this movie are fucking hilarious i died laughing with some of this stuff like it was hilarious uh budget of 43 million box office 115 million so it didn't do pretty bad didn't do that bad i should say mel gibson was considered for jimmy dix jimmy dix was played by damon wayans so it would have been Bruce Willis and Mel Gibson. That, uh, I'm kind of glad it wasn't Bruce or uh, Mel Gibson because he literally already has the Lethal Weapon movies. And in a way, those are kind of like this. This is just a shorter version, so... I'm kind of glad it was who it was in this. It turned out really well. I believe Jack Nicholson was also possibly going to play Bruce Willis's role. That would have been a weird, totally different movie too, man. Um, Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans actually hated each other while filming. Like, they could not stand each other. Which is funny because in the movie you think they're just like getting along great. But nope, not at all. Uh, the music for it was great. The Like I said, that beginning song was just uh, letting you know how it's going to start. And then you just get in and start going, man. But overall, yeah, man, this movie's great. Like I recommend it to pretty much anybody. This is a pretty fun watch. And I'd actually have to say this is probably one of Bruce Willis's top movies for me. Uh, but yeah, other than that, let's see here. Don't forget to check out my Letterboxd account under BB Gum 
reviews. Uh, check that out. Take a look at, like I said, what I will be updating it every day. And this will be next on my list, Sherlock Holmes. So like and subscribe to this page and let your friends know. I am always up for more subscribers. All right, you guys have a good day.